Well, good morning, happy Monday, and welcome back to another day with the nacho. We got some stuff that's moved around here in the trailer this morning. We're kicking things off, man. We had a busy, busy weekend. We had baseball games. We had the rain gutter regatta with scouts. We had UCF football game. We stayed super busy. And we had a flat tire on Friday. So that put a big, huge hiccup in the weekend. You guys are all gonna go up there. And to top it all off, we got a hurricane headed our way. Question is, where the heck's that guy gonna go? They don't know, they, the news says, there's an equal probability of this making landfall anywhere between Fort Myers, dude, where are you going? Between Fort Myers and Mobile, Alabama. Talk about a huge spread. They just have no clue what's going on. So we have to prepare as if it's coming at us, which is no fun. Which means I gotta get my whole backyard straightened up so stuff's not flying around. Oh, there's an umbrella. So we're gonna go out and about today and see what kind of damage we can do. And then we gotta go get things straightened up before Ian shows up and tries to make us have a horrible day. I hate to say it, but uh, people of the panhandle, I hope it comes to you. <laughs> I really don't want to have to deal with a hurricane. Uh, not even, and especially this one, because this one's coming on a very similar path to Hurricane Charlie, which was a real pain in the keister for Orlando. It knocked out power in some uh, areas for almost a month. I'm, I, I don't want that. Sorry, hard pass. So uh, let's see what we can gather today and get on with it. And Christmas is going to start coming, folks. As people get ready for the holidays, old Christmas stuff's got to go in with the new. This might even been something in his backyard. They're like, we got to get rid of this before the hurricane comes. <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of early for Christmas, but maybe it's just me. And there's definitely not good. Got a tarp on your roof with a hurricane coming. Ooh, I hope you got roofers coming, brother. Ooh, Route 66. I like that. I have to get that to Jeffy. Let's decorate our scrapyard. Let's make things look nice. That's pretty cool sign, huh? No, this is a nice looking hose. <laughs> Look at this thing. Is it cut or something? What's wrong with you? Why are you throwing it out? You know how expensive these things are? Oh, that's what's wrong with you. Someone run hit you with a mower. Oh, I've been there, done that, dude. Clippers out here yet? No. That's the other bad thing. Half of my straps, half of my tools are still at the house because I had to open this seat up. So I could actually take my wife to the football game. And then I put stuff back in the car. But I forgot a big huge tote that had like a whole bunch of my stuff in it. You know, pure organization. That's me. That's, organization's my middle name. You got brass too? No. Just you. So let's slide up, grab this chair, and skedaddle. Oh, please be aluminum. We want a quick day so we can get things done. And we're probably going to lose a day, if not two. I don't know. We'll have to see. 
get to see what actually happens. You are steel. You stink. <laughs> Onward. I don't know. Let's see what water this we can take without taking too much wood. How hard are you guys? We'll take this piece. We'll take these bottom pieces. That is actually plastic. That's why you broke it. You see. I did a Hercules thing again. This is an Ikea table. That's one of them drum sets. I got one of these at the house. I still haven't even sold it yet. Uh, some little dumb little kid wrote all over it though. I wonder if that'll come off. We're taking it regardless. Sticking a little kid. Get in there. Uh, you're gonna come off. Oh, it's a wee board. Oh gosh. Almost tripped me. Ugh. Morning. How are y'all? Uh, a whole bunch of more shoes, guys. With all these boxes of shoes. There's like in there? No. No, he's not in there. Shunk, shunk. Alright, we're gonna get this and get out of dodge. They're just hoping to get rid of it before the storm gets here. Good morning, thank you. Outdoor shower action. Maybe we're lucky to be stainless. Or plastic. Or both. <laughs> I don't know. We'll have to find out. <clears throat> I'm just going to take you guys, your hoses as is, there's not much hose there. Wow, I'm pretty surprised. So, this particular community had their semi-annual, biannual, I don't know, twice a year. They have a community garage sale. Um, and so they had that, that this past weekend. So I figured for sure we're going to have some picking piles out here to die. But there is not. <clears throat> so I'm not sure if uh, a lot of people just didn't do it because they're doing some storm prep. Or rather, people decided to keep the stuff they didn't sell. Normally, people are like, ah, if it doesn't sell, it's got to go. But I haven't had a picker yet. Gonna scoff at that. Look at these other panels though. They're plastic. Is there anything in this 
first aid boxes. They're pretty nice little kits. Oh, they're actually probably expired. <clears throat> All right, we're passing on those guys. We'll take the chair though. Joink. I didn't think it was metal at first, but it is. There's a door to the microwave. Right, the microwave. One tenth of a microwave. <laughs> I guess we're just going to get a bunch of these things today. This. A little rack for taters and onions, maybe? I don't know. Toilet paper and towels. Give me your guess. What is that rack for? I don't know. I see a cube of some sort over here. I don't know what it is. What are you, cube? Uh, speaker, maybe? Live put and wireless speaker. Yeah. Wireless speaker. Hey, what? Wireless speaker system. What is that then? <laughs> A wired wireless speaker system. What? Looky, looky, Americanos. We're gonna add to our count today. Yeah. Are you all wet? Are you all empty or full? You guys look pretty moist. We didn't have rain though. They're all in there. We'll keep you for now. Take a gander at you and see how wet this is. At least look up the titles, right? Definitely a failed garage sale sale. Joink. Ooh. All kind of bits in there. Get off of there, lizard. Ready to catch him. <laughs> Come on, dude. Ooh. <laughs> you made a jump for it. What is that? Is that a mole? That looks like a baby mouse. You're not in here, are you? Think of baby mice, am I? It's like, dude, what's going on? Where'd my house go? That might be a cat treat later. Sorry, brother. Other, other ones out. Hopefully they're not in that grill. I'm gonna have to move you again because you got you're on my stuffs. That's plastic. Mouse or a rat? That's my question. I think it's a mouse. Sorry, dude. Don't mean to correct keep harassing you. He's going down here in the grass. There you go. Dude, this stuff's a mess. I don't know why I take this stuff, but I do. Sticks to your gloves. You guys get back up here. I want these tires.
kind of feel like putting him someplace a little safer than that. What do you think, guys? I think you won't get crushed over here. What do you think, guy? I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry, Baba. You come over here where you're not going to get crushed, at least. I know, I know. I want another bush. Look at that bush right there. Give him half a chance, right? Half a chance. <clears throat> He's pretty little, though. I don't think there's a great opportunity. I don't know where he came from, though. Hopefully, I don't have six of his brothers in my grill. New grill count. Onward. Oh, gosh. Trailer tried to trip me. Take ourselves a little umbrella. We should get a lot of these next week, I bet. These should be a dime a dozen next week. Is anybody that leaves them out, doesn't pull them in, they're gonna look like that. <laughs> Let's pull up and get this one. I don't know how this one got so tore up already. But this is what umbrellas and gazebos and stuff like that will look like next week if they're not pulled in. That's the stuff Jeff was talking about the other week when he was saying, oh, we want to have a hurricane come. This is exactly why we don't want to have a hurricane come because we get messes like this every place. And no one wants their stuff trashed like this. Looks like they've had a microburst or something because this is a... Uh, Actually, this looks probably just old. This is an old umbrella. And that's an old gazebo. I don't think either of them are much aluminum. One can hope, right? Oh, we got a bunch of awkward stuff in here getting already today. Craziness. pull apart and we're gonna do this thing Ugh. just a mess and a half to get uh, chopped up here too much. Here. Gazebo origami. I think that's about as good as we're going to get right there, folks. Let's go. A couple pieces of something, something here. Both with cords, this word. Got a lot of air going on in here today. Wow. <laughs> Onward. Well, one thing. Ooh, look at the glass. Ooh, look at all these guys. See the guys, they all be brass. Or at least aluminum.
This is a metal. This is a fan down rod. Where the fan? Where the fan at? Just in time to find a refrigerator, right? And once we get the, all, the back all blocked up. Yep. Probably. Find a lot of weird, awkward stuff today. Look at this guy. We all steel. It's solar. Got lights that come with it. Whole thing solar. Here in the, we'll put you in the refrigerator spot. Plastic or metal? No, you guys are both metal. Oosh. How are you today? Good, you? <laughs> Can't complain, I'm still breathing. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Yeah. You guys had the community gar garage sale this weekend, right? Uh -huh. You had a community garage sale this weekend? In the in the in, in Waterford. They had the Oh, you didn't do it? No. Alrighty, have a great day. Thank you. I will. about this one right across the street. Got ourselves in a vodka elmo. Where are all the bikes this month, man? I, don't, I know we don't find tons and tons and tons of bikes, but I feel like this month's been very light. And what happened to everybody purging their grills after Labor Day? Or is it Memorial Day they like purge after? I thought it was Labor Day. We're like, ah, we're done with the summer. Let's get rid of it. Well, let's go. Told you we'd find that fridge. <laughs> Thankfully, it's just a little one. <laughs> it's not gonna hurt us too bad. You're not yucky, are you? No, you're actually pretty nice. Probably work. You a football fan. Football. All right, all right. Let's get ourselves our staple. You know what, folks? We're fans of fans here at Nacho Stuff. So make sure to smash that like button because we've got our first fan of the day. What is going on with this board, dude? Ooh, you're getting warped. I need to put wood there. Is this the new fan? 
got any extra wires in here? Yes, it does. An extra little down rod. We'll take you both. Let's go. We got something buried under this big, huge box. Whatever this box is. What's this box? What do you think it is? You know what? I think it's a bed. I think it's a car bed. That's exactly what it is. Wow. That's cool. Oosh. What else we got under here? Nothing. Just a scooter. And he's not even aluminum, I don't think. I think you're steel. A steel scooter. All that for a steel scooter? What? I normally grab these, but the other day you guys were like, dude, you could make millions. You could be like the container guy. I was like, nah, come on, bro. But I was at Walmart the other day. These things are expensive. Like the totes, they're insane now. Like even the little totes are like 10 bucks for your basic tote. What? So I think I'm gonna do this. This is gonna be like right here. And I have a little organization spot there in the back of my truck. A drawer for straps, a drawer for gloves, a drawer for tools. Now we're thinking, right? I found one of these a couple months ago and I took it home and I'm using it. It's wonderful. See this little rack? It's like, it's got a little folding board on top and then you lift it up and you have three things for your laundry. I already got one though, I don't need another one. This one's Scrapola. But it's a great little great little device got little bits of everything here I think this is real real wicker though I don't want no real wicker it is wow plastic I'll take you I'll take you I'll take you I'll take you with the weird kind of stuff we're getting today this might not be on a too low day. It just might be. Oh, these are the kind of blades you're gonna be. Wow! <laughs> Let's see if these will wiggle off. Because that one just flew right off, almost broke. Not cool. back here in the refrigerator spot. Are you going to off to? You going to come on? Whoosh. You guys can go in there. There we go. Let's go. Vacuums have been a dime a dozen this month, man. Ooh, crazy dogs. Wow, that got a whole kennel in there. I feel like we've had a bunch of mowers this month too, right? I mean, this is an electric one, but I have about four million in my garage right or my backyard right now. Dino. Take me some of that. Yeah. I don't want that. I want these ones. Chink. Increase our walls. We can't on this side because I got straps. 
have to come over on the other side with this one. Get on the other side of that wall. Become a rough, I guess. <clears throat> Seems legit. Let's go. Now that is what I call a gaggle of paddock furniture. Please be aluminum. Please be stackable. How would these stack? Like such? I don't think they stack. What do you think, guys? I don't think they stack. Let's see if they go like this. <laughs> no, they're just like super, super awkward. You just like put all these up here and just put a bunch of straps on. Yeah. Maximize our return here. Not like that, Matt. Oh, why can't you guys be stackable, man? Why not? Oh my gosh. Such bulkage. All right, I'm not gonna have you guys watch me try to figure out how to get these all up in here. We're just gonna get them over here. Get them up. And then we're gonna go to the yard. Cause this is gonna be super awkward. We come back out, we come back out. If we don't, we don't. Ooh, this is juicy. So, I'll see you guys in the yard. We're gonna start off with some NFJ today. We get all this aluminum off of here. <laughs> what do you got? The pair of you working out here today? No, I had to go to the school. My my kid got bit by a dog. Oh really? At school? Yeah, yeah she opens up the uh, what? She opens up the car doors. Yeah. For the kids and, car line. Yeah, and uh, Chihuahua fell out. She went to pick it up and it did her. Okay, so they threw this whole thing out from the paint. Like, it's all that for this to get tore out. It's oxidized. It's oxidized. Look, how, how big was the house? It's not very big. It was the guy. I was actually loading it uh, on my trailer when the guy, they weren't home, and he pulled in. He's like, "Hey, I've got the glass for it if you want." I'm like, "Uh." -uh. <laughs> What's that? Like what? It's oxidized now. Ain't nobody want an oxidized set. I know where you live. I can I can go back and get it if you want. <laughs> now, out of Westfield. Now, Waterford. Oh, that's 
or Avalon. You got one rip. Just one. One got a rip seat. Come on. Which one? Oh, you want that? Yeah, that's what I thought when I saw it. It's huge. A whole bunch of awkward stuff this morning, man. Now, Waterford, Avalon. Yeah, they're not bad. They're nice and heavy for aluminum. You want a jack plate? I got one. You got a jack plate too? I do at my house. Yeah, I, 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 Aluminum. I bought one. Is it a, a hydraulic one? No. It's manual. It's manual. I just bought one. Yeah, I just bought one. Yeah, six chairs too. I I, I bought one fabricated coffee stuff. for the uh, the Put those bucket too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, I think it screws onto the back. I don't know. I, I've had it in the backyard for a long time. I, I got, I bought brand new ones. Such a nice bar. Why don't you keep that for your pool? So I don't want one. I don't need a bar for my pool. I got. Kids, I don't got time for a bar. Talk to me in eight years, nine years, ten years. Talk to me in ten years when they're all gone. I'm gonna have a bar again. <laughs> That's all I'm dropping off to you right now, Jeffy. I just wanted to get, I didn't want to, I didn't want to unload and reload all that stuff. Are you coming back through? Or? Uh, it all depends on how much I got left in. I don't know how much I got left in here. Like yeah. Love there's, it. there's a little bit more aluminum in here. That's going to my mower guy. Old. Yeah. Old. It doesn't matter. Right, he gives you five bucks. Hey, I, I, I give it to him and what he doesn't want, he gives back to me. No, my wife texted me, uh, she texted me this morning, she's like, you need to get the backyard straightened up before the show today. I'm like, all right, I'll get to it, you know, when I get to it. I'm not going to be here Wednesday. I'm not, really? I'm not going to come here I, I'm still hoping it, it really looked like it was going to go to the panhandle, but it keeps inching back, man. It's good for us. That's no, nah, well, it's scrap. good for scrap, it's good for us. Yeah. I'd, I'd, rather, uh, I'd rather have less scrap and no storm. So, is that a block or a transmission? Block. Okay. What is that pay? Uh, What's up, Junk Man 5000? Eleven cents. Yeah. Okay. I'm just curious. The, the my mower guy's got a block for me. You know that, uh, it's like five, six hundred pounds. He said. After this, the price of aluminum is going to go way down. Yeah, I heard. That's going to flood the market. Well, I already talked with TJ last week, and he said that there's a lot of yards that can't even move the product they have because they're the mills are full. Yeah, they're just they're already full. All right, guys, we're going to try to unload this quickly here. Sorry I cut you off quickly. I was going over to talk to Junk Man. That's a pretty nice mower. I don't know why they're throwing that one out. This yard is going to fill up quicker here in the next uh, week. 
Better clear up some space. Turn into a swamp first. I'm gonna come right there. Uh, uh, find us a magnet. Yep. Yep, yep. Stuff that I gotta consider breaking down a little further. Jeff liked this, but he did not want it. Too big, he said. Come on, come on, guys. I wanted you off of there, brother. Lost that one. Doesn't break. <laughs> that might be a little bit
I lost my support on that one last week. Getting toe up from the flow up. Let's load back up and get back on the road. On the road 
again. It's time to get on the road again. So we got ourselves a vacuum. We did have a scheduled pickup we knew about since last Friday, but I didn't have a chance to get out and about. So I went and was lucky, it was still there. I got to bring the straps. See, I'd done run it over with my car because I wasn't paying attention, heard it. It's like, hurt. I'm like, ah, oh, I forgot to get that strap. So we have an oven. We have a refrigerator that looks amazing. I for certainly would think that would work. And a microwave is what we got from the schedule pickup. And we're gonna run about and see what else we can find for another I don't know, hour or so. Could grab some lunch, unload, and then clean up the backyard before mama strangles us. Let's go. Ah, I hate when people park in the street. I missed a fan up there because I had to pull up for somebody. Now I gotta swing all the way back around. I hate that. Ugh, what are you gonna do? I don't wanna scratch at my beautiful Fijator. Let's go. Maybe. Guy's parked on the road so I couldn't tell. <laughs> no, it is a maybe. It is a something. Something, something. Got ourselves a stereo something. Come on, stereo something. You can go under the hood of lane. Get in there. You too. Yes, please. I'll take an air conditioner. I know it's have the window variety, but it's better than no air conditioner at all, right? Oh, <clears throat> heavy little guy too. We're just gonna walk over here. Why? Because I could use some steps. And number two is, I don't feel like driving up a little bit. We got, got like a whiteboard in another steamer. I tell you, man, this is the wave of the future that just didn't stick because they all get thrown out. I hope this one's got brass in it, but it feels pretty light, so I'm thinking it's gonna be plastic inside. We'll find out when we mash it at the yard. I'm gonna say no, but I had to look. Hey -ya! Dang it. Could not get this. I mean, who can't use another chair? <laughs> Crappy chair. We came back for this one, folks. Why, you ask? Because we're fans of fancier at Nacho Stuff. Ooh, they're putting up their galvanized hurricane shutters already. Now that is a prepared family. That stuff is not cheap either. But it will keep all of your windows from breaking. The one time I boarded up, I used plywood. That's the way to go, though, with that <laughs> variegated, is that what it's called? Galvanized thin steel. Take a punch, they go up much easier, but you pay for it. I just got my fingers crossed. <laughs> Let's go. All right. We might get her filled up the second time. Oh, please be aluminum. I don't think you are, but let's try. Uh oh, that tire looking a little light. Nope, we got steel. And we're gonna slide up and pick up my arch nemesis. Sis, 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 sis. 
Dun, dun, dun. The ironing board. At least this one's got caps on the end. So if it decides to smash me in the face, I've got some protection, except for one leg, two legs. This one's busted too. Go ahead, get some tension on that. Maybe you can get smashed again. Ah, let's go. Alright, let's add another one to the count. This one actually has a little bike lock with it. Uh, we got anything else in here? Nope, you are plastic. We'll take these two guys though. Oh, the, uh, ooh, that's got a battery with it. That gotta come off. That can't go to the yard. What is that? A door? Oh. Black and Decker. Huh. And a bicycle. New grill bike count. These ones are up here hiding behind the car. Look at the difference between this one and that one. Wow. <laughs> this one was like, this one lived inside, that one lived outside. It's like the good twin and the bad twin. I'll take this whole kit and caboodle, I guess. Otherwise, it'll get left behind. And people get mad. In the bad twin. <laughs> Got ourselves another big awkward mess down here. This one's not in nice shape though. Not going to be aluminum again, I can tell you that. Where's all the aluminum stuff at today? You already picked it up, man! I know. So greedy. So greedy I am. Anybody want a toilet? Or a lizard? Look, he's using the toilet. Show ya! Didn't even scare him. It's one brave little lizard. Let's go. Alright guys, I've made some room. Now we gotta try to get all this stuff up in here. Why you ask? So I passed a treadmill over there. Now I got a grill and a wash machine. This grill's heavy too. special though. I thought for sure that might be. It's nice and heavy. Turning around here, that's weird. I want you to fit all the way up there, brother. Treadmill is going to be the tricky one. 
I hope my washer guy wants this today. Holy mac and chili, this one's heavy. Maybe I don't care if he takes it or not, because it's so heavy. All this white stuff man I guess the stainless steel's out white's back in <clears throat> Whew. I might go with him first so that little hole there is not gonna hold a treadmill I can tell you that button let's go we're working hard again folks so which one washing machine guy he actually took the microwave the stove the refrigerator and the washing machine <laughs> or, the, or the whatever it's called um, the yeah washing machine washer stove refrigerator microwave <laughs> so he gave me 80 bucks for those and he gave me this. And then we come down the road and we're in some bed rails and some grills and we still headed back to get that treadmill. Ooh, yeah. Another one of them days. It's not quite the non-ferrous lid of the other day, but I did see uh, another small refrigerator. We're swinging back around for as well. So on the way to him. I'm trying to keep put, putting stuffs in here. Hopefully we got time to get a sandwich <laughs> before we go to the yard. But I don't know. At this rate, not looking so great. Ooh. Oh, we didn't count that grill too. So new grill and bike count. So much for getting a sandwich. <laughs> oh. You can have time for a sandwich later, Matt. All right. And we're just going to slide over there. There's some more metals over yonder. Oosh! Streets have been good to us this week. We really need to fix this thing here. This thing's in rough shape. It doesn't help when you throw a grill against it either, though.
that table. Tabletop at least. Amazing big old copper barbecue, barbecue or fire pit, whatever you want to call it. It's steel though, that's okay. It's been a good day. Rubbing action going here. I'm putting you here so you don't rub. Don't leave without another small refrigerator. <laughs> I'm glad I was able to get that him to take that um, refrigerator. He was in amazing shape. I was going to try to sell it to somebody. That thing was immaculate. It would be a shame to throw that in the yard. So he said he's going to take a chance on the whole set. Because this house has a bad stove right now, has a bad refrigerator, and I think you just took the microwave so everything matched. Let's go! Still not back to the treadmill, we're still picking up stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna run out of room <laughs> again! It's not like we've been packing it especially efficiently since we've lost all that stuff. I was hoping to get rid of the washing machine and got rid of four pieces. So I just kind of turned a little sloppy there. Sorry. Phew, we made it. Now I just need to get this thing up and on. Get out of here. Oh, what is going on here? That's what it's rubbing. This side is rubbing. Not that side, this side is. Hate these sides, man. Use this to fix that problem. This is plastic. I don't want show. We'll use this like here. Did we get that second itch here here last week too? I think we did. That's how you fix a trailer. <laughs> oh, come on. Mm. Oh, come on. 
and she's in. We're going to have to tighten this beauty up. Oh, all right. I'm going to tighten this, put one back there, and we're good to go. So you get to see the yard. Just trying to stay out of the way here. They got trucks being loaded to get rid of this stuff. It's dropping cubes. Come on, David. stuck in here just like I was yesterday or a couple of days ago. It's the worst.
plastic. Stainless. Guys, a couple things to break down. I'll see you over at Jeffy's. Is that out there? Yeah. I didn't see you. I did. I looked out there. I did. I got all that stuff for, for you that you can you take home and go through. What do you mean? The previous guy uh, before him, uh -huh. he had four hundred ninety-six dollars. I was like, well, if you go out there, you're gonna get a check. So he's like, <laughs> I don't want to take this. <laughs> I don't want to unload it. I don't want. <laughs> so. If it and go through it. I'll go through it. You give me enough. I'll go through it and see what it is. I, I wish I could put it in my backyard. <laughs> you can. Just piss her off. No. On the couch. <laughs> I'll be sleeping outside in the hurricane. <laughs> oh. What's that? I never checked out this morning either, though. Oh, you came in here first, that's why. Yeah, I came in here first. And then I went out there. Um, I got all kinds of dirty. What? That's an old sink. That is an old sink.
Come on. Got it. What? The drum set. I've got a couple of those. Uh, the fake wicker, oh. it just sheds. It just makes a mess. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Uh, Oh, that's over there, right? Yeah. Are you gonna save your student? No, you can take it. It's clean, right? That is. That one's awesome. What? This going to this goes dirty, stainless. All three of these toes, Jeffy? Yep. There's a bunch of the toes. Oh. Help you. I got it. <laughs> I'll get I'll get the brass first though. <laughs> just the heavy ones. Though. Yeah, exactly. These will just go back. Yeah, exactly. Oh, you cut those off? Yeah, I, I I break them off. That's what I do. I, I watch videos and I break brass off the plugs. Yeah, there's some bullshit in here, but yeah, there's, that's all right. There's some decent money here. There's, there's a couple, a couple of bucks or so in here. Yeah, there's. Okay. Huh? Hey. Can't look a gift horse in the mouth, right? All right, brother. Some of that stuff sells, man. I sold one of these, like like this one right here, for like forty bucks. Well, you might be able to sell it if it works. Yeah, I don't know. We'll split the profit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one forty-six. Yes. Light iron and exclusion thing of women and motors. Yeah. Come back in the day. Not today. All right, brother. I'll see you tomorrow. You guys aren't closing early tomorrow, are you? You don't think so, though? I mean, uh, what is your guess? I'd say at least lunchtime. Yeah, okay. Well, tomorrow's on day. Right. So they might make us stay here all, all day. Okay. And then I'll definitely say no on Wednesday. Yeah? I don't know. All right. Well, I'll see you tomorrow, definitely. I expect this thing to be full of aluminum next week. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Alrighty guys, we're waiting paid and we are tired. I need to go get something to eat before I gotta pick up the, the youngins. But let's get this receipt first. Just so you know, it's pretty likely tomorrow might be a short day, I don't know. They're saying the yard might close at noon or at lunch. He said most definitely it'll be closed on Wednesday. So I'm guessing we're not gonna have a video Wednesday. Maybe not even one on Thursday, who knows. We'll just have to see how things pans out. But just wanted to give you guys the heads up. Uh, Irony Light was what we dropped off to Jeffy uh, to begin with. Because um, we wanted to get rid of those chairs. So I didn't have to unload them in the back, reload them in the trailer, unload them again. So I went to Jeff first. Um, that patio said 162 pounds. Uh, 20 cents a pound, 32.40 for that patio set. Um, and then we went out and dumped in the yard, 10, 700 pounds, five and a half cents a pound, uh, 38.50. Um, and then we ran back out to the streets. Um, we stopped by a lead that we had from at the end of last week that I didn't get until Friday. By then I'd already put the trailer in the back and we had baseball Friday night and then we had the ring at a regatta and baseball games and the football game and everything Saturday and then Sunday we were trying to get things done around the house there's no way for me to get out there and get those so I was like cross my fingers maybe they'll be there so and I'd forgot about it um, before the first run and so I went out there uh, first thing still there yes and those were that was the refrigerator the stove the microwave uh, that I sold to my washer guy when I sold him the washer machine that we found a little bit later in the run. Those four pieces went for 80 bucks. Um, and we still ended up with uh, 920 pounds of tin. Five and a half cents, 50, 60. Uh, and then we had some more irony light, which is basically any dirty aluminum we had. We had different tidbits in there, 64 pounds, 20 cents a pound. Uh, 1280 uh, clean aluminum would have been the ceiling beam paddles uh, eight pounds 40 cents a pound 320 extrusion I had to wait in line uh, at non ferris so while I was out there I broke down one of the doors as I talked to a, a gentleman um, and so one of the extrusions I was able to break down the other went as uh, irony light so I know I lost some money there but I just can't have that stuff in the backyard because uh, that's just stuff that's gonna be blow around I mean so I turned it in dirty. Um, extrusion, 10 pounds, 65 cents a pound, 650. Electric motors, uh, I was only able to turn in the microwave motor and one other motor, 17 pounds, 16 cents a pound, 272. The other one had a, a piece of steel still connected to it. Plus we had that ceiling fan that has a piece of steel for, from last week. Um, and he's got a heaping electric motor. So until we have a new bin, we're stuck with those. But I don't know if you noticed or not, but he gave me those barrels. Basically, basically what happened is the guy, two people in front of me, um, had a bunch of stuff and he was getting ready to go out and take, uh, so, so take that stuff and throw it out back. And Jeff said, you're at 495. If you take it out back, you're going to get a check. And the guy's like, I don't want a check. I want cash. So basically, once you hit $500 here, you get paid by check. So as long as you're under 500, you get cash. And so he's like, I don't want to go over. I'll just, I'll just leave this here. I don't want to save it. I don't want, I just need, it needs to be gone. So he threw it there uh, and Jeff said, hey, you give me enough stuff, I'll give it to you. So he gave it to me. So we'll have that to go through and see what kind of goodies there might be in there. There were some electric motors or at least the big plugs um, and some other thingamabobbers in there. Who knows? Push comes to shove, it's free uh, shred for our next run, which will be tomorrow. So we'll go through it before we go out tomorrow to see if there's any goodies that we don't want to throw to tin. Otherwise, it'll go with tomorrow's run because that might be, it, who knows? It could be the last week or last run of the week. It just depends on how the storm goes, where it turns, how fast it comes, how badly we're affected. Cross your fingers that it goes left and uh, it slows down and doesn't do a whole bunch. But Jeff is uh, thinking we're going to end it with all kinds of aluminum next week because that's generally what gets destroyed first. So I don't know. I'm hoping that it uh, just uh, peters out. But uh, if it has to come, I hope it turns further left than further right because turning right affects us more. But it is what it is. All we can do is prepare for it and uh, deal with it once it gets here. So I hope you enjoyed the video. We had a great day today. 140. 672 plus 80 bucks for my washer and dryer 220 yes man that's not it's not uh it's not 
Thursday of last week, but it's an amazing day, to say the least. So let's go get ourselves a sandwich or a piece of pizza or something to get ourselves filled up before we got to get the kids. And then we got to get the backyard situated. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure to give us a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing if you're not already a subscriber. And for all of you that are affected by the storm, whether you're in the Panhandle, which it could come to, or any place in Florida, or really the Gulf Coast for that matter, um, be safe, be prepared, go out and get whatever you need now, because it's better to have it and not need it than it is to need it and not have it. So, until tomorrow, be safe, be happy, and I'll catch y'all then.